Hello everyone, welcome to the sixth video of this lecture series. In the previous video, we learned about Maxwell Boltzmann distribution, and in this video, we will do some problem about that topic. Okay, so this is the problem of today. Uh, it states that a gas of molecular mass M is at temperature T. If the gas obeys Maxwell Boltzmann velocity distribution, then the average speed of the molecules is given by. So there are four options given and we have to choose the correct one. This problem was given in Jam 2011. So we know that Maxwell Boltzmann distribution is. the probability the probability distribution of velocities of a gas molecule of molecular mass in like this is given in the problem uh, which is at thermal equilibrium at temperature t that is equal to be m over 2 pi kvt to the power t by 2 e to the power minus half mv square by kvt and obviously this is in three dimension so the dimensionality is very important so let me write it out explicitly in three dimension so let me also box out this result okay so the problem asks to calculate the average speed so we have to calculate the average speed which is average of V. We know the probability distribution of V. So, how to calculate average over V? That is integration of P3 V times V times dq V. Here, this integration V is from minus infinity to infinity. If we write dq V in terms of d Vx, d Vy, d Vz, then this individual component of the velocity vector Vx, Vy, and Vz they can be from minus infinity to infinity but if we write the cube v as 4 pi v square dv then v will be from 0 to infinity 
so whenever we are dealing with this kind of integrals we have to be very very careful about the limits so let me write it out explicitly here c average is integration of 0 to v pq v times v 4 pi v square dv and for this problem i will do the calculation thoroughly and for the later problems we can just use the result and jump steps these problems are so important for that reason i want to do this integration thoroughly so we can put the form of p3v here which will give us we can take 4 pi outside it will then it will give us 0 to v m 2 pi kvt 3 by 2 v square times v e to the power minus m v square 2 kvt dv now let us assume that in this square over 2 kvt is x then this square is kvt over m times x and 2v dv is two v dv is 2 kvt over m times dx here the two on the both side of the equality sign will cancel out and we will obtain v dv to be kvt by m times dx and we can rewrite this equation one as average over v is 4 pi and this term we can write it like this m 2 pi kvt times m 2 pi kvt to the power half and in the integration sorry integrations here they will be from zero to infinity like we discussed here okay and the integration here will be zero to infinity v square we can use this equation let me just put boxes around the important ones. Okay, so V square we can replace from here. 2 kvt by m times x v we can and no, actually v dv we can replace from here kvt by m dx and this e to the power minus m square by 2 kvt term 
this we can write as a to the power minus x because we have assumed mv square by 2 to the t is equal to x. So we can take out all the constants outside the integration. and the integration remains to be x e to the power minus x dx 0 to infinity. Now, this kind of integrations are known as gamma function, where gamma of x is integration set to the power x minus 1 e to the power minus z dz. The integration is from 0 to infinity. If we compare this with this integration here, this integration here, then we will see that this can be written as gamma 2 and for gamma functions we need to remember two main formulas one is that gamma of n where n is an integer is given by n minus 1 factorial and the second important formula is gamma of n plus 1 is given by n gamma n. This can be derived from this also and, and in these cases n is integer for property number 1 and we also need to remember that gamma half is root pi. So, to give some examples, gamma 3 can be written as gamma 2 plus 1 and we can use this property to write it as 2 gamma 2. Similarly, gamma 3 by 2 can be written as gamma 1 plus half and we can use this property to write it as half gamma half. Here this value will be half root pi and this will be this will be 2 times 1 factorial which is equal to 2. These are just some example and from here let us say this to be equation 2. We can write that V is 4 pi m 2 pi kvt m 2 pi kvt to the power half 2 kvt over m kvt over m times gamma 2 which is nothing but 1.
So let me just check if I have written it correctly. Yeah. So this is correct. Here M M will cancel out two kbt two kbt will cancel out and this pi will cancel out with this pi. So we can write it as four root of m 2 pi kbt and we can bring this inside here so kbt whole square by m square then this m will cancel out this kbt will cancel out and we will be left with root over 16 kvt by 2 pi m which can be simplified as root over 8 kvt by pi m so the answer is c is equal to root over 8 kbt by pi m okay so this is the answer and if we go back to the problem we we'll see that option d is the one matching with our answer and this is the correct answer okay so this is the problem number one and we will proceed to the next problem okay so let us go into the second problem of this video this problem was given in jam 22 and the problem states that a tiny dust particle of mass 1.4 times 10 to the power minus 11 kg is floating in air at 300 kelvin ignoring gravity its rm speed in micrometer per second due to random collisions with air molecules will be closest to so this problem will also be solved using maxwell boltzmann distribution and uh, we have the vrms as root of p kvt over m here m is the mass of the dust particle kb is the Boltzmann constant and p is temperature which is 300 kelvin now i have just written out the formula here but let us uh, prove it very briefly so what is vrms vrms is nothing but root over average of t square so again this is this is in 3d so for 3d case we have that the probability distribution of velocity is m over 
टू पाई के बी टी दी पावर थ्री बाई टू के बी पावर माइनस एम भी स्क्वायर बाई टू के बी टी सो यार वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट द टर्म एवरेज ऑफ वी स्क्वायर सो दिस विल बी गिवन बाय पी थ्री पी वी स्क्वायर डी क्यू फी सो जस्ट लेट मी अ बॉक्स अराउंड इट एंड देन वी विल क्विकली डू द इंटीग्रेशन ओके सो स्क्वायर इज फोर पाई इंटीग्रेशन ओवर जीरो टू इनफिनिटी एम ओवर टू पाई के बी टी टू दी पावर थ्री बाई टू बी टू दी पावर फोर बी टू दी पावर माइनस एम बी स्क्वायर टू के बी टी डी वी एंड अगेन कंसिडर एम बी स्क्वायर ओवर टू के बी टी टू बी एक्स सो वी हैव बी स्क्वायर एस टू के बी टी बाय एम टाइम्स एक्स वी एस रूट ऑफ टू के बी टी बाय एम टाइम्स एक्स टू डी पावर हाफ एंड वी डी वी एस के बी टी बाय एम टाइम्स डी एक्स सो वी विल यूज डी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू टू के बी टी ओवर एम एम सिक्स एंड बी स्क्वायर डी बी विच कैन बी ऑप्टेन बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग दिस वन एंड दिस वन दैट इज के बी टी बाय एम टाइम्स रूट ऑफ टू के बी टी बाय एम टाइम्स एक्स टू डी पावर Half dx. So we are going to use this equation in this formula. So we can write square as four pi m. Two pi k b t to the power three by two times zero to infinity integration v square dot v square d v to the power minus m v square by Two k b t, and this will be four pi m by two k b t to the power three by two times one by pi root pi integration zero to infinity k b t by m. Two k b t by m to the power three by two x x to the power half x to the power minus x dx. So here this term will cancel out with this term, and this pi will cancel out with this pi. So we can write four. 
activity by m integration 0 to infinity x to the power 3 by 2 e to the power minus x dx and this integration we can do with gamma function so we have gamma 5 by 2 is equal to 0 to infinity sorry x to the power 5 by 2 minus 1 e to the power minus x dx so this is 0 to infinity x to the power 3 by 2 e to the power minus x dx so gamma 5 by 2 will be 3 by 2 gamma 3 by 2 which will be equal to 3 by 2 times half gamma half so this will be 3 by 4 root pi gamma 5 by 2 now we put this result here and we will obtain that this square is 4 kvt over m i think i missed this root pi here so let me edit it so here V square average will be 4 kvt over m times 1 by root pi times 3 by 4 root pi. So now this and this will cancel, this and this will cancel and we will have V square three kvt over m. So, V RMS will be root of average of V square which will be given by 3 kVT over M. So, this is the proof of the formula. Now, let's go back to the problem. So, we have m equal to 1.4 into 10 to the power minus 11 kg. We know t is 300 k and kb is 1.38 times 10 to the power minus 23 joule. Kelvin inverse. So we can use these values here. RMS is three times one point three eight times ten to the power minus twenty three times three hundred by one point four times 10 to the power minus 11 meter per second and if we carry out this calculation here we will get that this is approximately equal to 30 micrometer per second so we have the rm is equal to 30 micrometer per second So, this is our answer. Now, if we see the options given, we can see that option C resembles our answer. So, this is the
correct answer okay so let us conclude today's video here and we'll meet in the next video